Oh. First. This was the first graffiti I've ever made in my life. It's not so good. I've recently found a place where everything is possible. A place where dreams can come through. A real Neverland. Whoa. Always full of materials we collect. It's all trash materials, so we work 100% upcycling stuff. The, those, those are really expensive uh, colors and paints we got to, to save before getting thrown away. Yeah, it's a place where you can do or build whatever you want to build. So we got metal workshop, wood workshop, color station and free space outside. So anything, anything you want, you can do here. Welcome to Berlin, DC. If you have an idea, you can come here and you can make it real. This is Max. Moin. And I have no idea what I'm going to see here. I just saw this place from far away and I thought that this should be cool. Yeah, maybe. So uh, you said that you'll show me around. <laughs> yeah, let's find out. Um, what is it? That's a workshop. That's a workshop? Um, yeah, it's called Berlin DC, Berlin Dolly Corner, because we have the White House in Berlin. The base of the building is like two containers, but uh, the crane guy, the crane driver, he put them too far too apart from each other, so we had to build a roof upon it. And with this roof, we started to build this workshop here. Yeah, and because there was space in the back, we decided to put another roof in some other rooms. So here's the main workshop, the all-round thing, and we built everything from trash, like old windows, old doors. Yeah. Where, where do you find where do you find this trash? Everywhere in the city. Max is a very busy artist. He makes breathtaking sculptures from recycled materials and sells them mainly to clubs and music festivals. So now I understand. So you take this and you cut it, so it will look like cut and weld. And then I can bend it, you know. One day he had a great idea. He decided to create an NGO for artists. He wanted to build a place where they could all meet and work together in a supporting atmosphere. I guess like a lot of um, art places usually have their own like, not rules, but like structures and you have to fit in somehow. And here you come and the people say like, do whatever the fuck you want. And that's kind of like an artistic freedom you usually don't have. So wait a minute, because now I, I need to understand. Every artist, <laughs> no matter who he is, yeah. can just call you and say, I need a place to work. And yeah, if you get along, no problem. It's, not a it's like a place for creating something, a place for doing something. And yeah, everybody who has the same spirit is invited. Why not? It's, it's a hard profession and a hard life to choose. So, so why, why, why not just get a job in, you know, as a, in, a, in high tech? Because I can't do anything else. <laughs> this is the only thing I can do um, and the only thing which like, makes me feel alive, kind of, even if it, is, if it sounds a bit pathetic, but that's just the truth, I guess. <laughs> I think you, you choose what you want to do in life. You have to choose yourself, otherwise you won't be good in it. <laughs> you feel that you're your life, you are, f are fulfilled. Yeah, and guess what? My mom is proud of me now. You feel you had to give up something in order to live like this? Um, I don't know. I think maybe other people had to give up some things. Um, that maybe other people had other plans for my life, but I'm very happy with uh, the way my life turned out. You, you know, I, 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 <coughs> you are very modest. But uh, I know so many people that, that are doing, working in works that they don't like and doing things that they don't want to. Stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's hard, don't you think? I, I, I think this is, this is why I think it's important because, because yeah, you know, I think it's think. hard and you make it look so simple. Naya, it's, it's not always easy, of course but it's, uh, you have to get along. But if you decide that if you're feeling good with it, then it's the right decision. But everybody has to decide it for himself. How he does, you know, I have no children, you know, I can make this easy life, easy lifestyle at the moment, but later we will see what happens. I'm not planning so far in the future. Yeah. <laughs> Living the life of an artist might not be for everyone, but it is always nice to see people that listen to their hearts and follow it. And it is even nicer when it works. I'd like to thank you for watching. 
please press the like button and consider subscribing. And until we meet again, look for the good ones.